Hello there, I'm John Oliver, host of tonight, last week's January the 3rd, and we are still on hiatus, but I wanted to take this opportunity to wish you all a happy new day, uh, which is something you can still do for another year or two before people start to think you just came out of a week-long blackout. <laughs> Also, I would like to talk to you about New Year's resolutions. Uh, the exact middle ground between lying to yourself and lying to yourself. <laughs> Every December, for some reason, we decide that next year will be the one when everything turns around and we'll drink or finally learn how to pronounce the name John Oliver. Is it Akai? A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A Science, but but let's be honest. We're a few years into the new year now, and if you have broken your resolutions yet, statistically you are up to, <laughs> and that can be depressing. But don't panic. All hope is lost because the key thing with resolutions is not how to keep them; it's how to revise them <laughs> once you fail. <laughs> Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. The problem with New Year's resolutions is that we set our expectations way too high. For instance, I'm high, say they want to exercise more, but that's hard. <laughs> exercise is like reading for your crock pot, except you can't watch a movie of almost and basically get the gist of it. <laughs> so, so instead of beating yourself up because you haven't gone to the gym yet, simply... <laughs> to anything that brings your heart rate up. 